Booty, honey, are you sure you don't want us to drop you off at home? I'm going with you. I kind of want to see how this one ends. <gasps> oh, sweet Rudy. You probably won't live to see the end. Oh. Okay, this is the last one. Little Timmy, you're always my favorite. Please let someone else do it. I can do it. Hey, Rudy. Rudy, one. Asthma, <gasps> an electric fence it's just humming don't all fences do that rudy touch it no thank you i mean little setback got incarcerated but all in all pretty great birthday party huh rudy roots rudy he's a pushover a cupcake what i'm tough rudy i'm in your pe class i was there for the kickball incident that was humbling yeah stand back everybody big explosion in five four three two one ignition i'm sorry Whoa! That's it? I expected it to be louder. And blow up here? Well, my ears are still ringing, baby. Wait, did you just say you were sorry? I guess. Yeah, I am sorry. Huh, I mean, you kind of wedged it in there. Yeah, well, I'm sorry I kept pushing you when you were stressed out. And I'm sorry I called you a weenie. You're not. You're the opposite of a weenie. A beanie? And I'm sorry I didn't just say sorry right away. I'm not great at that, maybe. And I'm glad we're friends. Thanks, Louise. Right back at you. She takes my breath away. I mean, everything does, but still. Thanks, Louise. You're the coolest. Great. So Rudy likes Chloe Barbash and not me. Rudy, wanna have a puppet show? No, it's too late. We don't have spoons, but we still have the makings of a great cast here, such as this up-and-comer. Is this really happening? Yep, you got your script handy? Yeah, I mean, I was hoping we could workshop it a little bit. Also, we should probably tweak it because it was written for spoons. But you know what? We'll find it. Let's just dive in. Hey. Thanks, Louise. This is the birthday I wanted. You're welcome, Rudy. He's not a big boy. He's regular sized. And that kid has more heart in his regular sized body than anyone else in the school and you're... Oh my God, you're freaking out. Yes. I guess I was silly to think I could get a kiss on Valentine. Yeah. If you tell anyone about this, uh -huh. I will end you. I think I'm sweating. We got our very own chocolate fountain! Some of it just went down my underwear. I like it. This is the best weekend of my life! Doesn't even matter that I'm allergic to chocolate. Rudy, what? Stop eating it then! Oh, because I'm allergic to it? Yeah, what happens when you eat it? I don't know. I've never eaten it. I don't know. It's... <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Damn it, Rudy! It's not that bad. I just get a rash on my back. Here's your gift. It's a holster for your inhaler. It's supposed to be for pepper spray, but we realized it could be used for any spray. Oh, wow. That's so nice. My birthday is the same day as Ollie. Where's the bounce house? There is no bounce house, Harley. No! Oh, it's okay. I don't need a bounce house. I got my buds, I got cake, and later we'll be making spoon puppets and putting on a show. Good thing we have these spoon puppets to fall back on. Everybody pull up a seat. Let's get spooning. This is unjust. Hey, look what I made, a robot. Hi, guys. Rudy, when did you get here? I've been here the whole time. Everyone keeps cutting in front of me. Do you like boogers? Um... What? I've been eating my bugs all morning, and I love them. I was wondering if anyone else was into boogers. Oh, okay. No. Great. But you know what I gotta say? The whites of your eyes are bright. Your fingernails are strong and healthy. Maybe there's something to this eating boogers thing. I mean, hey, whatever you're doing, keep it up, sister. Bye. Mm -hmm. See you at lunch. Where were you last week, says Rudy? We missed you. Oh, I tried to play basketball. <clears throat> nope. Mm -hmm. Negative. <clears throat> no, sir. Anyway, you got any extra scissors? Winning. And right now, nobody does that quite like the Rootster. Okay, you need to shut that down. Rootster can never be said again. Here goes everything! <clears throat> they should serve a meal on that flight. What's going on, Louise? Ah, uh, oh God. Rudy, buddy, I've got some bad news. Hey, you know what? Never mind that. We'll, we'll, we'll block off the alley. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, kid. Why are you saying good luck? Why did he say, oh, God? Hey, we're here for you, son. The whole damn police force. Um, why? Ah, uh, look at that face. And your shriveled up little arms. Yeah. What's happening? Should I be insulted? Can we still ride bikes? Of course you can. Just like a normal kid. Just like a normal kid. Thanks for your help, officers. You did a good thing today. I'm a normal kid. Yeah, I, yeah, he's, he's, he's real like normal. A normal Rudy. kid? Right, officer? Maybe rollerbladers. Those guys are pretty tough. 
Someone else. Someone who just took a left turn into a world of hurt. <gasps> oh, no. It's okay, Mr. Huggins. It's only partially your fault, mostly her fault, and nobody else's fault. Well, I mean, you're the one who left the ramps out here Rudy, when there's... Rudy, I threw you a benefit. Not until you pay back my friend for a surprisingly safe ramp. Hi, I'm the friend. Pretty dangerous ramps, actually. Pretty scary. Let's cut through that alley. But what if we run into a bunch of kids who don't want us to? Whoa, irony, right? Hold on. It's a tight squeeze. <sighs> Guys, there's a board against some trash up ahead. I think... I think I'm going to have to take it. Rudy, be care. Oh, that's not very scary. Did you guys see that? See what? It's okay. God saw. Sorry again about your ramps, Rudy. It's okay. My dad and I will build more ramps. From the ashes rise ramps. More ramps. No way. We'll get detention and the cars will be confiscated. Yeah, they'll get constipated. No. Rudy, come on. Wow, that's a powerful argument. Yeah, okay, I'm in. I looked everywhere. Nothing. Maybe she stashed them in the teacher's lounge. Come on, let's move. Sneak into the teacher's lounge. Oh, no, I need to sit down. Oh, Rudy. Oh, where's my inhaler? Where's my inhaler? It's right. You're holding it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you hear that? Louise, I don't know if I expressed this enough, but this is literally killing me. They don't even know the rules. <laughs> well, nobody does. Rudy, just shush, shush. Sorry. Well, there's only one thing to do. Work half harder. Acid. Oh, so, oh, half acid. Walk out. Yeah, except walking also sounds like too much work. Where am I? Everything looks like a woodchuck! You broke Rudy, Tina! Rudy, you're fine. Why is that woodchuck saying I'm fine? That's it. We're out. We're on strike. Wait, what? Hey, we we, we can work this out. I, I think I can get you guys uh, soda spurt privileges. Daryl, Rudy, I want you to hug that wall like it's your mama at bedtime. Ready? Ready. Sort of. Are we chasing him? Are we going to kill him? I think I can do it. No. Let's just follow him. Right. Right. Sorry. Where is that damn gorilla? I really want our candy back, but I also really want to leave. There's no turning back now, Rudy. Well, the door's right there. There could be some turning back now. It's not far, is what he's saying. Rudy, Daryl, why aren't you guys sledding? We've got a little situation. Oh, just go behind a tree and use some leaves. And don't be creeped out by that one squirrel that likes to watch. No, maybe we should sled somewhere that doesn't have rowdy teen boys with arms. Well, now, hold on. We don't want to go somewhere with no hot rowdy teen boys. Nobody said hot. Someone did. Rudy's cousin is Brienne of Tarth. So, yeah, this is Mandy. Yeah, hi, I'm Mandy. Rudy cried until I said I'd come. That's how I got you to come to my yellow belt test at the dojo. Would have been so cool if I had passed. You're so much bigger than him. Well, I used to be smaller. Hey, maybe I'll be really big and strong when I'm older, right, cuz? Yeah, sure, buddy. High five. High five. Oh. Anyone can play, no matter how hopelessly unathletic they are. Um, why are you looking at me when you say that? I wasn't looking at you. I was looking with you. What? We might not all make it. Why are you looking at me? Shh. I'm just sticking around because Rudy wanted me to watch him sled. Look at me! Backwards! Tell the other cousins about this! Oh, oh my god, too scary. Turning around, turning around. We... Double recess, no more study hall. How'd you like our educational system now, Norway? We have to run a mile? And it's mandatory? What a bunch of crap! Well, listen, I can't run a mile! If okay. I run a mile, I will die! If I was like five miles, if I run a mile with these little legs! <gasps> Tell me about it! Oh, okay, you want to hit? No, I'm good. I want to stay angry. If we have time, we take all of the rum raisin sorbet out of that store and burn it! Uh, I like rum raisin sorbet, actually. Rudy! We're here. Ah, uh, dang. Tried to skid out, but it didn't work. Man, that would have been cool. Like, uh, what are we doing? Hug me like you got lost in an amusement park and you just found your mommy! <laughs> I'll do a hug. Get in here, girl. Oh. I want a hug. Bring it in, Rudy. You're really missing out, Louise. Oh, no, I'm I'm not. All right, we just have to make it to the bushes. This already feels like a lot of running. <laughs> just use your thing already, Rudy. You mean my booster rocket? <gasps> Blast off. I say we go forward. For Gene. No, how, how is that for Gene? It's what he would have wanted, Rudy. Uh, I say we keep going. For Gene. I also want ice cream. For Jean. For Jean! For Jean! I feel like we're not doing it for Jean, but... We're doing it for Jean! Okay, fine. I'm riding with one hand! I'm riding with one hand! Someone's fishing for a compliment. Good job, Louise. Rudy, do you know why I put you in charge? Uh, you're not allowed to go out? Because you're good at finding things. I am? Yes, remember when you found Waldo? Oh, yeah. That was a hard one. The beach scene. Three, two, one, catapult! Yeah! Oh, man, tell me you got that! Wait, oh, none of us have phones. 
Hey, geniuses, what's going on? I'm not being sarcastic. Oh, I didn't think you were until you said that. Anyway, let's talk about this cool catapult here. All day, buddy. Question. Can you build one that's, say, ten times the size of this one? It's like we say, if you can think it, we can engineer it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Are you kidding? Oh, God. I did it! I built it! I'm the brains behind the whole scheme! And the engineers, they tried to stop me! They were heroes today! <laughs> Rudy, Rudy, we're good. Stop. Oh, okay. Um, never mind then. Thank Bye. you for your time. Bye. Bye. It's the same day I'm getting this sucker off. Hey, we should celebrate! Throw you a party! Yeah, a castaway party. Castaway party! I said it first, and I want to go. I said castaway. Castaway party! I said that. She said it first. I said it. Well, tomorrow's no good. It's Louise's hawk and chick screening party. There he is! Rudy, Rudy, Bo booty! Yep, hi. Jeez, control your excitement, Roots. We rode bikes on the trail behind his mom's place. Rough terrain. Popped my tire and shook my soul. The condo board is not into us blowing up stuff in the common area. They sound dumb. They are. Maybe we can move this thing somewhere safe? I mean, it's already sliding off again! Oh my god! Yeah, you guys are not great at this. Now what do we blow up? Well, I don't want to blow them up, but I packed my silk handkerchiefs. Who's in the mood for some magic? Me! Or we can blow up that chair. No, no, I, I like that chair. Or that bird feeder? No, Louise. I, you don't understand. I'm kidding. Rudy, go get those handkerchiefs. Okay, or do I have them already? No, I don't. Okay, I gotta go get them. I'll, I'll be right back. Uh, Louise, come out of the plants. Oh, Louise, I'm just a talking plant. My name is Leafy Greenbrier. And I am Kate Bush.